Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is day number five. It is the last day of doing the... Not that. <laughs> I was somebody who always would start so many things and feel like I wasn't completing anything. I got a pretty good habit of drinking energy drinks to just keep the day going. I had a, a rough childhood. It's gonna give you better mood, better focus, more energy. It's an appetite suppressant, also fuels the brain. This is gonna promote a restful night's sleep. This is gonna give you a gentle cleanse without keeping you on the toilet all day. This is going to reduce cortisol, lower stress levels, as well as burn belly fat while you sleep. Tastes phenomenal, you guys. It's bad. <laughs> this is gonna help with age reversal, fine lines and wrinkles, hair, skin, nails, joint pain. Muscle preservation, all the things that you're looking for in a yummy, delicious liquid collagen. How I got this beautiful skin, clear, and plus my hair, no longer gray, it's actually browning, and the roots are coming in brown, and I'm growing hair in my thin line. It's all because of it. Curves cravings, intensifies weight loss, helps control calorie intake, and converts fat to energy. Absolutely incredible for me. And all you do is you click Thank you for joining me on this journey where we will be looking deep into Velvita. No, not Velvita. This is not an ooey gooey cheese MLM. Velvita. It's fairly new, having been founded in 2019. I'd only recently heard of it though when one of you started sending me TikToks and reels of Velvita reps. I was immediately sucked in by the unusual nature of the product they were consuming. They call them snaps, basically because of the packaging the product comes in. It's literally literally the packaging that drew me in, and it's what the reps base all of the branding on. I've even seen them use the hashtag, hashtag snappinmama, so yeah, you can see why I was so intrigued from the get-go. It's cringy, it's hard to watch, yet I can't look away. The moment I got sucked into these reels, all I could think of was, oh my god, these people look so ridiculous. But more on all that later, let's start with why they named this MLM company something so close to a well-known brand of cheese. Like, they had to know that people were going to constantly confuse it with Velveeta, right? Well, the origin of the name is based on velocity of life. So, like, Velo from Velocity, and I can only guess Vida as in Vida, the Spanish word for life. That makes sense to me. So, Velocity is basically just another word for speed, generally speaking. So, they basically took the phrase speed of life and got Velovita out of it. It's a stupid name. I'm sorry. They could have done so much better, but Velovita just feels so half -assed asked to me. Velavita proudly proclaims that it's the world's first hybrid direct sale program. I'm sorry, what? They describe it as a bridge between the direct sales industry and e-commerce. Guys, Every MLM is doing this now. Pretending you're a real business owner and being able to sell the products in the online marketplace? Revolutionary! Oh, except it's not. We'll get into the compensation plan later, but I'll just tell you straight up right now, there's nothing special about it. We've seen compensation plans that work the same way before, so it's beyond me why they think anything they're doing here makes them special or different at all. Within my research, I cannot pinpoint one singular thing that I can point to to say, oh, maybe that part is what they think makes them different. That special thing does not exist. Velavita, my friends, is your standard run-of-the-mill MLM that uses a binary compensation model. Although they do advertise a five-year retirement plan, it sounds impressive and different, and you don't hear of MLMs having retirement plans very often. That's something else we'll touch on later, but it's not what it sounds like at all. If you've made your way to this video because you're doing your due diligence and trying to decide if Velavita is right for you, first of all, great job on doing your research before jumping into something like this, but let me probably be the first to tell you not to join Velavita or any MLM for that matter. You may not even know what an MLM even is, so let me tell you in the simplest way possible. MLM stands for multi-level marketing, 
These kinds of businesses are often compared to pyramid schemes, and Velavita is no exception to this rule. Sure, you'll make a small commission every time a customer buys from your replicated website, but the real money lies in team building. Simply put, if you want to gain financial freedom, set your own schedule, travel the world, do all the things you've probably been told you can do, you have to recruit, and you have to recruit a lot. You cannot make a substantial, life-changing amount of money in any of these companies without recruiting a large network of people beneath you. It's not as easy as they want you to believe it is. And Velavita has been around for a few years now. It's no longer a ground floor startup opportunity. Those who rose to the top because they luckily got in early did that years ago, making it even less likely that the dream you've been sold, which led you to finding this video, is wildly unobtainable. What's more likely is you'll wind up spending way more on the product than you make in commissions. You may even and find yourself in debt. So please do yourself a favor. Do not join any MLM ever. This YouTube channel you're on right now has hours and days and weeks and months of content for you to binge watch that will explain these companies, their lies, tricks, tactics, and more in extreme detail. So if you still feel unsure, I do implore you to have a look around this channel after we're done here. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about their website. When I first started researching this video, their website had a huge video looping at the top of the homepage with a title overlay that said Vela Vida is about freedom. The video itself featured limos and successful looking people speaking to a crowd on stage. You would go to their website and be immediately hit in the face with attraction marketing before you even know anything about the product they're selling. Hey, look at that guy in a suit. He looks wealthy and successful. Everywhere you look on this website at first glance screams business opportunity first and the products are just kind of an afterthought. I shouldn't have to say this, but this is a huge red flag. Just watch this what is Vela Vida introduction video. Notice that the product is basically not mentioned at all. They focus heavily on the business opportunity and they rely on superfluous visuals to evoke a feeling of desire from the viewer without even giving details about the product. Vela Vida is a transcendent company bridging direct sales and e-commerce, an unrivaled social selling opportunity that sets them apart from the typical model, creating the world's first hybrid direct selling company, a leading edge brand that provides an opportunity opportunity to monetize in two giant markets, the $192 billion direct sales market and the astonishing $5 trillion e-commerce system. With the alliance of two powerhouse development firms, both with global footprints and over 90 years of uber success in corporate and field, from AI-driven technologies to world-class video productions and everything else in between. Headquartered in Florida and being 100% debt-free, has also helped to empower Velavita with a global infrastructure and offices around the world catering to the industry. What would normally take years to launch took Velavita's team merely months to achieve. So why not increase the velocity of your life by becoming a Velavita member? Thanks to the Wayback Machine, we can still see what the website looked like just a few short weeks ago. But as I came back to do the finishing touches on this deep dive, I found that their website had a massive overhaul. The first thing you see now is stuff about the product, which is a positive improvement from the cult vibes it was giving before. According to the website, the vision is as follows. Velavita envisions a worldwide movement of people realizing their greatest potential by providing an environment whereby technology and tradition unite and create a platform for everyone to thrive. This sounds more like a vision of the business, not of the products. And you want everyone to thrive? That's mathematically impossible, and they know this. For every top of a pyramid, there's always a much, much larger bottom. That's just how pyramids work. That's how MLMs work. There's a finite amount of people on this planet, and I can promise you that most of them want nothing to do with this scheme. There will never be a worldwide movement of snappers, trust me. Their mission is to provide an ecosystem of inspiration, education, and life enrichment. Velavita has a singular focus on the individual to increase their daily performance both mentally and physically. A singular focus on the individual has very main character vibes to me. It just seems selfish. Most MLMs at least will pretend to be in the business of helping people when in reality they're just as selfish as the next. Velavita just says the quiet part out loud basically. They want you to believe that when you join Velavita, you're going to be met with a business model that just wants to help you, the team that you have to build to climb the ranks they're just your stepping stones. Pay no mind to the fact that this business opportunity is sold to everyone who approaches it in the exact same way. So is it really about the individual reps or is it just about funneling millions of dollars to their one and only individual CEO? Speaking of the CEO, I'd like to introduce you 
due to Costa Guerra, Velavita's founder and CEO. He has an interesting past and his journey to get to where he is today really is the definition of a lucky immigrant living the American dream. Well, the North American dream anyway. Costa was born in Iran and according to a YouTube video I found on his personal YouTube channel, it says at the age of 12, he lost his father to torture. There really aren't any more details than that. Not that we really need any. I'm sure growing up in Iran in presumably the 70s or 80s was very difficult and I don't want to downplay any of this because as a member of Western society, this kind of way of life is something I'm thankfully unfamiliar with. But yeah, his story continues to say that he had spent years trying to be smuggled out of Iran and into Turkey and Greece. He was always stopped or even caught and arrested on more than one occasion. He says he spent six months in prison after one of these attempts where he was violently whipped and slashed. He spent nine months as a refugee and at one point was in hiding for seven months just trying to leave Iran. Again, it's a very sad story and he's very obviously one of the lucky ones that made it out. At the age of 18, he finally was able to immigrate to Canada where he started working as a hotel receptionist. He went to university at the age of 21 only to drop out to join da -da -da -da, an MLM and he failed miserably at it. He tried to get MLMs to work for five years and ended up being $250,000 in debt. But don't you worry guys because he got recruited for another MLM by a buddy of his and after two years he wound up being the company's youngest millionaire. Now I couldn't find out what MLM he was involved in but I can say without a doubt in my mind that this was a pure stroke of luck as it is with anyone who ends up being a millionaire in a multi-level marketing company. In 2007 he co-founded the MLM called Be Hip, one I've never heard of but still exists today. There's no mention of Costa on Be Hip's website now but on the Wayback Machine you can see that he's mentioned as the co-founder and master distributor. Seems unfair to let your own founder also be a distributor but okay. There's videos of Costa speaking at Be Hip's conference from as early as 2008. There's a lot of him talking about how rich he was in his previous MLM and why he decided to jump on board with Be Hip. I remember very first hip day just a couple people then we expanded five six and now we've got 16 of the top leaders from dozen of countries on the stage here in Vegas that's incredible but this is our day one can you imagine where we will be 12 months from now guys and I guess you can call we got lucky we got lucky we were able to truly benefit the fruits of this industry, this profession. As you know, my wife and I had the opportunity to travel the world and we bought homes from Singapore to Korea to different parts of the world and we wanted to sort of semi-retire here in Las Vegas and he showed his product to me and said, look at it. It came, it wasn't in this beautiful sachet, we call this beautiful sexy little package, Be Hip, came in a jar. It was a brown little powder in a jar and I'm going, what is this? I already knew he didn't have to sell me. My question was, and I remember JC and I talked. We sat there all night. JC said, Costa, you must be crazy. You're retired. You're making a seven-figure residual. I wake up or not, dead or alive, those paychecks roll in every single Tuesday by FedEx come in. What average person makes in a year, those checks will worth about five days, coming in every single week for seven years. JC said, why? Why would you? I understand I want to go get to millions of dollars. Why would you walk away from that? In my last company, I had an opportunity to help 11 individuals from all walks of life to go from zero to a million dollar in income. 11 different people from all walks of life. Think about that for a second. Average person takes them over 52 years to make a million dollars. If you don't spend it, you don't pay mortgage, you don't eat, you don't drink, you've made a million dollars. And you don't pay Uncle Sam, you've made a million dollars after 50 plus years. We help 11 individuals. Once you taste network marketing income, man, you're damaged for life. You just can't do anything else just doesn't matter lawyers doctors whatever well, if you're an attorney you stop suing people you make nothing if you're a doctor you stop working on people if you're a surgeon no surgery no money if you're an accountant if you don't count how much do you get paid none 
Network marketing is the only one. It's not clear when he decided to leave BHIP, but he did start a few new business ventures between BHIP and Velavita. Right before starting Velavita, Costa was the chief executive advisor to an MLM called iGallon. During his time there, iGallon was sued by its product supplier, ultimately collapsing iGallon as a business because they ended up losing access to its flagship product. What I find extremely annoying about this guy is that he says that he's retired twice in his life. Obviously, he's not retired now. He's the CEO of a multi-level marketing company. But whenever he's seen talking about his story, he talks about how he has retired twice. Costa Guerra has never retired. He's like 50 years old, maybe? The dude got rich and took two breaks. But I think this kind of language is used just to play up the five-year retirement program that Velavita offers. It's all very intentional, and his story is well rehearsed at this point. But hey, now look at him. He gets to show off writing $500 checks to police officers on Instagram. Wow, what a guy. And for my wife and I, uh, you know, we were a big supporter of our community and especially our servicemen and uh, our, uh, our police officers. Uh, here is, uh, I just uh, finished signing off on uh, five checks for the officer of the month in, uh, in our community. So we're proud of them. Uh, we're very grateful for their heroism, for everything they do. As you all know, we're a big supporter of them. Also, I'm sure you'll be glad to know that Costa also wrote the Network Marketing Bible. Yeah, he self-proclaimed this so hard that it's in the description of every listing to buy the book online. This dude straight up thinks he's a network marketing god. This is an incredible Bible for turning your passion into a multi-million dollar business. There's a really goofy trailer he made for the book too, where he tells his story about his past for presumably the millionth time, and then at the end is like, Oh, by the way, I wrote a book. It's very odd. It's probably a fascinating read. I can imagine it's very self-serving and narcissistic. I guarantee it won't make anyone rich in network marketing though. He also co-authored two other network marketing books called Guerrilla Multi-Level Marketing and More Build It Big, 101 Insider Secrets from Top Direct Selling Experts. So what we've learned so far is that Costa is a network marketing god. He's charismatic and knows how to use his traumatic life experiences to sell himself to anyone who will listen and many are buying it. We haven't even covered the products or compensation plan, but I'm sure you're already getting cult leader vibes from this dude. Allow me to insert these pictures of people meeting him, hugging him, him and crying and even showing off the matching tattoos they got of the company's logo. Tell me you're in a cult without saying you're in a cult. Imagine if the CEO of a company you work for got a tattoo and you felt compelled to get a tattoo to match. That is not normal. Regular companies do not behave this way, yet somehow we see MLM reps getting tattoos for their MLMs all the time. It's one thing to dedicate your entire social life and personality to your MLM. Those are things that are easy to change once you deprogram from that cult-like mindset Set. But getting a tattoo is a permanent modification to your body. You are permanently modifying your body for a multi-level marketing company that you sell products for. That's some cult shit. That's really all the dirt I have on Costa. Just quickly though, the about section on their website links a co-founder named Jeff Mack, who otherwise goes by J Mack, which is also what some kid I went to film school with called himself. So that was a weird memory unlocked for me. Anyway, he has a website where he boasts about how important he is and how he's led MLM companies to great success. J Mac was the CEO of an MLM called Vita Cup and it closed down after a few years in operation and now he praises himself all over his website as some kind of network marketing expert. Yeah, sounds very successful. Wow. In 2018, he was named as one of the 150 MLM global ambassadors in their supposed hall of fame by Business for Home magazine. He just comes off as your basic run-of-the-mill boomer MLM expert. Pretty cringy stuff if I do say so myself. Another notable figure spotlighted on their website is their scientific advisor, Dr. Ali Sabiri. According to his bio, he's a board-certified internal medicine physician in St. Petersburg, Florida, who uses an integrative approach for wellness. According to his reviews, he seems to be practicing as a primary care physician. He went to medical school in Hungary and then finished up his education at the University of Tennessee. He specifically says he focuses on stress management. His LinkedIn says he 
he works for an organization of doctors called Baycare. Admittedly, he has widely positive reviews on the website. Most don't say much, but there are a few that cite his holistic approach to healthcare. He's part of a group of physicians called Florida's Natural Pharmacy, which boasts that you can heal your mind and body naturally without a prescription. On this website, he says that he has a passion for mind-body-spirit connection. I mean, I'll admit that the guy has a pretty impressive resume, including being part of Doctors Without Borders after 9-11. I just wanted to highlight that his approach seems to fall towards the holistic side, and I'm no medical professional, but I always get rubbed the wrong way by doctors who are this committed to natural medicine. It seems like this guy is trained in both natural and pharmaceutical medicine, though. In this video that Dr. Sabiri made about the products, he mentions biohacking a lot, which is a huge buzzword in alternative medicine right now. Dr. Sabiri here. Bellavita Scientific Advisor. Biohack, 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 which support essential biochemical reactions in your body. Biohacks. And we'll get into that a bit later, but my opinion on this guy is that he's a well-trained physician who somehow got roped into being the scientific advisor for this MLM, probably to the tunes of a hefty sum of money. I just don't see a reality in which a respectable physician would be this committed to this kind of product. If you truly respect science and medicine, you'd be distancing yourself from all alternative medicine like this. My guess is that he's a sellout, but again, this is just my opinion. He has great reviews online as a primary care physician, so I'm sure they're reflective of the work he does outside of Vela Vida. I just personally think he's being paid well to fill the role he does within Vela Vida. There are many others listed on the team page, but honestly, the rest of the people seem pretty irrelevant, like a customer service director and in-house counsel. But anyway, one thing Vela Vida is constantly bragging about is how they're a debt-free company. Actually, a lot of MLMs brag about this and a lot of MLM reps will brag about this because plenty of people hear debt free and think that that means there's no financial risk to them if they join. This is simply not the case. Even paparazzi is a quote unquote debt free company and they've put tons of people in debt up to hundreds of thousands of dollars. When a company says that they're debt free they mean the company as an institution isn't financing anything or paying back loans. A lot of businesses will take out loans to get off the ground or they will borrow money from investors. Velovita claims that it has not done any anything like that. But that isn't really as big of a brag as it sounds like it is. There are plenty of companies out there who are also debt free and they're not MLMs either. For example, Monster Energy Drinks, Pinterest, Lululemon. Those are some of the more well-known companies who are also debt free that I could find among many others. The reason I bring any of this up is because I believe that MLM reps will use this as a manipulative recruitment tactic. At first glance, someone might see someone pitching a business opportunity and include the phrase debt free and think that the individual distributor is debt-free in their involvement in the company, or that the company has caused the individual to become debt-free in their life. Most of the time, that's not the reality when someone joins a multi-level marketing company. I do quickly want to touch on a few interesting points I found in their member agreement. First of all, they have a section against pyramid selling and get-rich-quick schemes, and here's what it says. All members are strictly prohibited from misrepresenting the opportunity plan as a get-rich-quick opportunity and should not use fraud, coercion, harassment, or other means to force people to join as members. Instead, they should focus their efforts on promoting the quality and features of the products. Members shall always ensure that facts, figures, and other information distributed or otherwise disseminated during presentations and seminars are completely true and accurate and shall refrain from making any claims that they know may be untrue or misleading. Similarly, members shall not omit or disregard any material information. First of all, you know these boss babes will have a very hard time adhering to this. I'd go so far as to say that the ones who are like, look at me, I work from home, working my network marketing biz, are in violation of this rule. The company is around two years old at this point, and if you're claiming to have all of this income in a relatively new company like this, couldn't you say that that's suggesting that this is a get-rich-quick scheme? I mean, I would personally say that two years is pretty quick to get rich. Many of the people making claims like this probably haven't even been in the whole two years. On the topic of using other means to force people to join, that's a very broad spectrum. While you could argue that manipulating people into joining isn't quote-unquote forceful. Manipulation is a form of control to achieve a desired outcome. So if you're in control of another person's actions, that sounds like force to me. A form of manipulation I see a lot with these Velavita reps as well as other MLM reps is mom shaming. Don't you want to be home with your kids? Don't let other people raise your kids! Or using your health against you. Lots of health claims can be found on these Velavita posts and videos. Weight loss, mental clarity, energy, restful sleep, reducing inflammation, 
inflammation, converting fat to energy, anti-depression, and anti-anxiety claims are just a small handful of the claims I've seen be used in these posts. Leveraging someone's physical or mental wellness against them to try to sell them a product, or even worse, recruit them into your downline is just gross. While it may not fall under the category of force, I think it's cutting it pretty close. Another passage in this agreement that kind of goes alongside this says, a member must not and shall not in any way misrepresent the quality or performance of Vela Vita products. It must not and shall not make any claims other than those set out on product labels and brochures issued by Vela Vita. No claims outside of what Vela Vita publishes? Yeah, we'll see how well they follow that rule. They also say if someone sues you for false health claims you made, it's not Vela Vita's fault and that you are the one who will be held responsible. The membership agreement also has its own bill of rights, which I thought was funny. Here it is on the screen. You can look at it now. So now let's talk about the products. Vela Vita has four products. Pretentiously and gimmickly named Brain, Zleem, youth and plus, but obviously you can tell that they are spelled in unique ways. The marketing of these products heavily relies on two buzzwords, nootropics and biohacking. One of the first things you'll see on the website after the recent revamp is that Velavita will provide you with cutting edge biohacking solutions. What? in the ever-loving heck is biohacking. That sounds like some futuristic Matrix iRobot Blade Runner shit. In reality, the term biohacking is a broad term used to describe an array of things outside of traditional medicine. Common examples include things as simple as intermittent fasting and meditation, or even just tracking your own sleep, diet, menstrual cycles, all that. Those can be also considered forms of biohacking. But other more intense forms include cryotherapy, which is purposely and regularly making yourself cold, like taking ice baths, sensory deprivation tanks, and some of the most dedicated biohackers have had chips implanted into their hands to do things like lock and unlock doors, start their car engines, monitor glucose levels, and more. As a matter of fact, this form of biohacking has become so popular that people who experiment with electronic modifications to the human body call themselves grinders. They even have their own convention called Grindfest, where they can test equipment, install things into their implanted chips, and develop new ideas ideas and innovations. And I know this sounds crazy and futuristic and like totally not real, but I promise you it's absolutely real. Some forms of biohacking are backed by scientific research, like how meditating can help reduce anxiety. Others are a lot of quack science, like near infrared saunas that claim that they can boost cellular regeneration and fight aging. In 2019, the FDA actually had to put out a statement to discourage people from trying something that's called young blood transfusions. And they're exactly what they sound like. An older person will have the blood of a younger person pumped into their veins to fight aging. There are limited studies that exist to suggest that these transfusions could fend off certain diseases, but there haven't been enough trials to prove any of those claims. But the most all-encompassing definition I have found of biohacking, the way most people understand it, is the attempt to manipulate your brain and body in order to optimize performance outside the realm of traditional medicine. Biohackers consider it to be an art, and to them, it's all about being in full control of your own biology, optimizing your body and mind's performance, and upgrading yourself. These are the people who just want to see how far they can push the limits of the human body. And then you have the ones that simply just want to feel better or not be sick anymore. As the alternative, holistic, and homeopathic worlds like to do, they heard this buzzword and used it in their marketing so hard that it's kind of changed its meaning. Now there are plenty of products and supplements on the market that claim to assist in biohacking, most of which have not been evaluated by the FDA. Velavita products fall in line with this definition of biohacking, and these products rely on buzzwords to prey on those who are desperate to find relief from their chronic pain or illnesses. One form of this kind of biohacking is called nutrigenomics. It's generally the idea that the food you eat interacts with your genes and affects how you think, feel, and behave. It's very important for me to note, however, that nutrigenomics is an evolving science, and we have limited studies on how exactly it works. It just needs to be investigated further to gain better understanding understanding and any biohacking supplements should be used with caution and after speaking to your doctor about them. That all being said, this is more so what Vela Vita means when it claims to be able to assist in biohacking. Their idea is that you can use certain nutrients to optimize your health basically. However, it should be noted that products like this are not meant to replace a good diet and exercise routine. Although Vela Vita reps certainly do market it that way, as if it's the answer to all of your health issues. Diet and exercise are obviously going to be the most important part 
part to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Velavita products are simply supplements that have not been evaluated by the FDA with limited scientific exploration to back up their claims. So biohacking is what Velavita says its products can do. Moving on to their second buzzword, they claim biohacking is achieved using nootropics, which are substances in natural supplement, food, or beverage form that are said to boost brain power. For example, caffeine, a well-known and widely available cognitive function enhancer, can be considered a nootropic. According to WebMD, the term nootropics first referred to chemicals that met very specific criteria, but now it's used to refer to any natural or synthetic substance that may have a positive impact on mental skills. These can be found in either dietary supplements, prescription drugs, or synthetic compounds. These days, most scientists are in agreement that there's no strong evidence that any of the supplements being sold these days to improve mental health, reduce brain fog, boost memory, etc., are helpful in the way that they're advertised. Others do hold out some hope that finding the right nootropics can have the potential to help improve those things. It just depends on who you ask, which tells me that the scientific evidence is not strong enough to confirm or deny any of these claims. Barry Gordon, director of the Cognitive Neurology slash Neuropsychology Division at Johns Hopkins Medicine says, the circuits that are involved in human cognition are very complicated and not fully understood. You can't just turn up the dial that easily. He also attributes people's testimonials to the placebo effect. Obviously, prescription nootropics such as Adderall to treat ADHD or SSRIs to treat anxiety and depression have strong scientific evidence to prove their effectiveness. Many common biohacking nootropics can be found in Velavita's products. So first, we have Brain Reimagined, a well-rounded nootropic with leading-edge nanotechnology for maximum impact to deliver an instant boost to the central control unit of your body, your brain. Amplify your overall wellness and conquer each day. Brain contains B vitamins as well as caffeine, L-theanine, which can help counteract the caffeine jitters, a small molecule called PEA, which can increase serotonin. And it's not recommended to be taken if you're taking SSRIs, as it can cause your brain to produce too much serotonin, and that's obviously an issue. A neurotransmitter called GABA, which is marketed to treat neuropathic pain as well as seizures. Alpha GPC and uridine 5 monophosphoric acid disodium salt, which are compounds used for a cognitive enhancement, water, agave as a natural sweetener, sunflower lecithin, which may support cardiovascular health, citric acid, and vitamin C, which, wow, that's a lot of things that claim to do a bunch of things. Could this supplement help improve cognitive function? Maybe. But one thing I'm sure of is that the flavor must be nasty because here's a TikTok of some girl trying it and gagging. Dude, my stomach feels weird right now like a weird feeling. Toilet's right there, toilet's right there. So if it doesn't go good, it, I can throw up, it's okay. God, I'm worried because I did, guys, I got a deal, but it's still like, this was a lot of money. So I'm wasting these. <sighs> Come on. It's bad. <laughs> What the fuck is in this, dude? It's like the nastiest thing you've ever tasted and then there's like a little hint of caramel in there. Like what the fuck? Looks like the insides, like when you step on a fucking bug or something. Look at that. Gross. Get the fuck out of here. And here's another video of a Velavita rep using chasers to get the stuff down. Oh, and also one last thing. Um, 25 of these suckers will run you freaking $80. Second on their list of products is Zleem, a powerful natural supplement that helps your body enjoy quality sound sleep while supporting a renewed and holistic healthy state. And a 25 pack of these will run you $90. Here's a list of Zleem ingredients. Most notably melatonin, obviously used to help regulate your sleep cycle, along with a ton of different extracts that are supposed to quote unquote work while you sleep. TikTokers claim that it provides a gentle cleanse without keeping you on the toilet all day. So since you're supposed to take it before bed, are you just going to be on the toilet all night then? Why would you want to start a cleanse right before bedtime? Notable ingredients in this category include magnesium citrate used to promote bowel cleansing right before bed though. Why would you want to do this? 
But perhaps the biggest selling point is that these distributors claim Zeem will burn your belly fat while you sleep. They probably claim this due to the apple cider vinegar, but also there's an amino acid in there called l baba Mitoburn. So from what I found online, these Mitoburn supplements are all marketed as an exercise mimicking supplement. They all suggest taking them before a workout to intensify gains and give a burst of energy before a workout. So it seems odd that this is found in a product made to improve your sleep. It also contains green tea extracts. So like, are you trying to sleep after taking this or run a marathon? I don't get it. Their third product is called Youth Time Reverser. Already making some huge claims here. Youth is a delicious premium jelly containing powerful ingredients designed to help you live, look, and feel more vibrantly youthful. And with a price tag of $100 for 25 of these suckers, it better perform like the fountain of youth. It claims to promote more youthful, firm skin, reduce the appearance of fine lines, boost nitric oxide, reduce the harmful effects of oxidative stress, and also improve muscle tone, strength, and endurance. That's a whole lot of claims that someone can look and feel younger after taking this super expensive jelly. So in the ingredient section of this product site, it begs the question, why Aronia berries? And their answer is, why not? <laughs> Okay, way to make it sound like you're just throwing shit in there all willy-nilly, but it also contains your standard stuff like collagen and biotin, but also some other plant-based extracts and other stuff you'd find in literally any other fountain of youth type of supplement. Finally, we have Plus Thermo Something Extra. It's basically a $100 coffee creamer. Yeah, here's what the website says in the product description. Plus, our line of beverage companions is designed for adding to your favorite beverage of choice for a little something extra rather than a disappointing instant coffee that won't meet your flavor standards plus thermo is a non-dairy creamer you'll love adding to your home brewed coffee or favorite barista creation to help with your fitness and body composition goals that is an extremely non-specific description of what the product is supposed to do by that definition it literally sounds like a $100 coffee creamer period I'll put a list of ingredients on the screen for you to read but this is all basic stuff you'll find in any protein powder I find it odd the way that some of these ingredients are described though. For example, chromium picolinate's description says believed to help the body process carbohydrates and fats. Believed? So is there no scientific proof behind it? Seeing is believing, my friend. Has this ingredient been seen to help the body process carbs and fats or are you just hoping that it does? Under medium chain triglycerides, it says it may help with appetite control. So there's yet another uncertain claim. And then we have cinnamon Cinephrine HCI? Yes, it's literally written as HCI and not HCL on the website. Googling it comes up with something like, did you mean HCL? Because apparently Cinephrine HCI isn't a thing, but there are plenty of Cinephrine HCL supplements on the market. So was this just the typo? I don't know. But the description just says, Cinephrine can be found in the fruit of a plant known as Citrus aurantium. It's one of the main active compounds found in the fruit. It is also known as green orange or Zhishi in Chinese. It is also called sour orange or bitter orange in other parts of the world. Okay, so is it in there for flavor? or does it have a purpose or what? Assuming that it's probably Cinephrine HCL and not HCI, this supplement is supposed to increase your metabolic rate according to one study. And according to WebMD, it contains chemicals that might cause heart problems in healthy adults. So that's concerning. It's also banned by the NCAA. And that all being said, there's no good scientific evidence to support its use. So that concludes a deep dive into the line of products that Velavita offers. So while certainly most of these products can be used in a healthy supplement routine. They're overpriced as heck. But also, I just, I still do not get the severely overpriced $100 coffee creamer at all. I don't get it. It makes no sense to me. One final thing I do want to mention about the products is that I saw this in the member agreement and it says unauthorized returns. Should a member refuse delivery of any Velavita shipment or request to return any previously purchased product for a refund, such requests will be deemed as a voluntary resignation. So if someone signed up with Velavita and decided that the $100 coffee creamer wasn't worth it and wants to return it, then they're essentially terminated from Velavita. Velavita's like, you must pay for and enjoy all of our products or else we don't want you. Wow.
the audacity. Also, if anyone wants to return a product, whether it be a member or a customer or whatever, they have to pay to cover all the shipping. That's not surprising since it's basically the same with every MLM, but it can't be claimed as a 100% money back guarantee at that point because then they won't be refunded for the original shipping. And also we'll have to cover the cost to ship it back. Now that we have a pretty good idea of what Velo Vita is all about and what kind of products they sell, I can finally briefly touch on the compensation plan. First of all, I had to chat with their customer service service bot on their website to get a copy of their current compensation plan. I did see a couple different ones on Google, but only one of them was dated and it was in 2020. So I didn't know which one was the active one and they were all external links to other websites. So none of the compensation plans that I found just like Google searching for the compensation plan were directly from Velavita's own website. So the fact that I had to go through this much trouble to find and make sure that I had their current compensation plan is unusual and shady and sketchy in and of itself. But anyway, there are a few options when you join Velavita. You can actually join without making any product purchases for about 50 bucks. That pretty much gives you access to their back office, which they call the V Cloud, which is an unfortunate name for it. Anyway, that 50 bucks is an annual fee, which is common among MLMs. It's just ammo against the argument that you don't have to spend money or that there's no fees or obligations. And while it technically means you never have to actually make any product purchases or hold any inventory, this would be a one-off circumstance. The reality of MLMs is this. If you're going to make money off of product sales, you need to also use the product yourself. The level of commitment an MLM representative has to give to the products varies by company. But honestly, I can't imagine why anyone would wanna spend up to $100 or more on 25 days worth of supplements every single month if the person selling them doesn't even use them. That price tag needs to come with some kind of guarantee that you'll see results and proof of said results. There's a bunch of people on TikTok marketing this stuff and all of them are holding the product and or actually consuming it. Not only that, but dude, these people all recommend that you take some or all of these daily. That's right, daily. So from how I've seen this marketed, these people basically say that you need to take brain in the morning and zleem before bed. And then of course you would wanna take the youth sometime in the middle of your day so you can totally reverse the aging process. And if you're a coffee drinker, you'd be silly not to throw plus into your coffee. So let's say, for example, you want to use all of these on a daily basis. If you had them all every single day without skipping a day, you would be paying $369.80 every 25 days or $5,399.08 per year just to use all the products in Velavita. Now, I will say if you're a member on their auto ship plan, it appears that you'll get 10% off or more if you order multiple boxes at a time in accordance to this chart. But who's ordering 40 boxes of this stuff at a time unless they're holding an inventory. Also to get those discounts you have to be on their auto ship plan so that's messed up. They also have this point system called Velovita Social Tokens or VSTs. It's basically irrelevant to everyone in the bottom 99% but basically you earn VSTs every time you recruit someone or when you get a new customer. When you get up to the top five ranks if you maintain your rank they give you a set number of points weekly and if you go inactive they'll expire but hey if you manage to be successful in Velavita, you can stockpile enough points and then you'll have your product paid for. Isn't that super cool? So the dumb part about this though is that each point is worth one cent. And again, you don't get these through product sales. You get them by recruiting and also holding on to your rank after a certain point. And then like every time you convince a new person to buy from you, you get VSTs too. For example, when you hit your first rank of associate, they give you 250 VSTs. Wow, that sounds like a lot. Well, um, that's $2.50. And you only get that one time. They give you 1,000 VSTs. VSTs when you make your second rank, which is worth $10. And then you also only get that once. My point is with all of this is that yes, it's possible to get your snaps paid for, but it's highly unlikely you'll ever rack up enough points to do so because this mainly only applies to people who recruit a lot and hold a high rank title. There's also referral bonuses where you get a free box of product when you get three auto ship customers, which sounds easy, but I promise you it's not as easy as they want you to believe it is to like recruit somebody as a customer and then have them commit to $100 a month, if not more, on an auto ship. That's a lot of money for a lot of people, and it's not as easy to do as they 
they want you to believe it is. Otherwise, with Bella Vita, the distributors are the customers. Like, point blank period, dude. Even if you're just getting one box of brain every 25 days and that's it, that's $1,167.27 per year that you're spending on products before discounts if you get any at all. Now, oddly enough, their compensation plan does not have a set, you will make this much commission every time you sell a product. As a matter of fact, I couldn't really find an answer for this anywhere. Someone on TikTok said they earn 20% of every product sold. Other sources said that you have an income potential between 10 and $20 per product sold. So I guess that could be around 20%. Regardless of what it is, it's not stated anywhere in the compensation plan, which is a huge red flag to me. The compensation plan focuses heavily on team building and recruitment, as well as essentially recruiting customers to be on an auto ship plan, like I was mentioning earlier. In my opinion, Vela Vita is not and has never been about actually selling the products. It's about recruiting people who believe that they're starting a business where they sell products, but they're actually just the customers, and then they end up being in a worse financial place than they were when they started. Unfortunately, I can only speculate on that part because Vela Vita does not have an income disclosure statement, but based on my extensive knowledge of MLMs, I can pretty much guarantee that 99% of people who sign up with Vela Vita will not see a profit based on their involvement. One important thing that I want to point out about joining Vela Vita is that there is a pay to play aspect here, and this isn't necessarily unusual for MLMs. We've actually seen it in a few different compensation plans. Like for example, My Daily Choice has a similar sign up process. But anyway, as I mentioned earlier, you can sign up for Vela Vita without purchasing product, but the pay to play part looks like this. You can choose to sign up at four different levels. Each requires its own BV threshold to be met and each level comes with its own benefits. So for example, if you chose the apprentice level, you get a 10% referral bonus on your customer's first orders. But if you wanna drop a whole lot of money and sign up as an ambassador, you'll make a 20% referral bonus off of your customer's first orders. So basically, the more money you give them when you sign up, the more earning potential you start out with. You can work your way up to these levels yourself, but hey, might as well drop hundreds of extra dollars to be able to get that head start. I was kind of digging around and adding stuff to my cart to see how much it would cost to meet the 800 BV requirement you needed to sign up as an ambassador. And the cheapest cart I was able to come up with was freaking $1,459.40. That is a huge investment in MLM terms, but I'm sure they'll market it to you like, oh, you'll make your money back so much quicker with a 20% bonus instead of 10%. It's just gross, honestly. The rest of Velavita's compensation plan is similar to other MLMs. It's a lot of leadership and team building bonuses, which I won't go over because I'm not making this video for the people lucky enough to have landed at the top of the pyramid. Those people are very few and far between, and quite frankly, it's extremely unlikely that you'll ever see one of these bonuses if you sign up for Velavita. It's essentially irrelevant. But one last thing I need to talk about while we're on the topic of the compensation plan, it's the one thing I think Velavita has that no other MLM does, which is a retirement plan. Well, that's what they say it is anyway. They literally market it as like their version of a 401k, but in reality, all it does is remove your annual renewal fee and your personal volume requirements, meaning that you can stop working your biz, stop buying the products, stop all of that, and just enjoy your downlines hard work without having to do anything. It's really not as exciting as it sounds, considering to be active, all you need to do is place a 25 BV order every month, which I mean, you can do this pretty much by buying one pack of brain every month. So about $80 a month in a product pack, and then also $50 a year as an annual renewal fee are waived. And that's what they call retirement. It seems as though you get this after you've been with a company for five years. I don't see any other requirements to become a retiree, but this is exactly why you see all these snapping mamas on social media bragging about being able to retire in five years and saying things like, my company has a five-year retirement plan. What about yours? It's not all what it sounds like, and it's just another form of serious manipulation. And that is all I have for you in this deep dive. I hope you learned something. And if you're here because you're wondering whether or not you should join Vela Vita, please don't. I'm begging you. It's not worth it. But anyway, guys, we've reached the point of the video where I have to thank my patrons and my members. Guys, these are my financial supporters. They get access to things like our private Discord server. We have a postcard club. Sometimes you get early access to videos. You guys will get early access to this video and sometimes even more than that. So if any of that sounds good to you, you can go to patreon.com slash Savannah Marie or you can click the join button beneath this video to join my YouTube memberships. It's all the same. Doesn't matter what platform you want to join on. It's all the same to me. So with that, the biggest thank you in the whole wide world goes to Hula Chowdown, Janelle Pratt, Katrina Rosemarick, Cecilia Dudek, Christy Taylor, Elizabeth Wyatt, E. 
Steve Blondo, Nitty Dragon, Kutch Squad 2.0, Leanne, Meredith Nakata, Ryamu, Sheila Tapia, Turd Ferguson, Hashtag Get the W, Weatherington Law, Alice W, Amanda Shannon, Boris Geller, Caroline Reed, Casey Scraper, Daniel Urena, E. Higgins, Jerry Duncan, Hannah Morrison, Hannibal Crossing, Heidi Haw, Julia Wheeler, Kim Cartwright, Critter, Maddie Darley, Marley Fletcher, Ray, Tuesday the 13th, Jessica Billhart, The Best Elephant, A. Riker, Carol Jenks, Rebecca 88, Colin F., Laura Jensen, Mitchie 84, Vegan Chicky Nuggy, Jess Cronfeld, Emion, Kazzy, Auntie Lou, Little Birdie, and Fallon Lowry, and to the rest of my fabulous financial supporters, thank you so much for being here and for being you. And even if you're not a financial supporter, thank you for making it to the end of this video. YouTube loves watch time, and this is probably going to end up being a little bit longer, so thank you for being here. Keep making waves, babes, and I will smell you all later. Mommy Tsunami, out.